everyone and welcome to another Starbase video. Let's start with some big news. Station Siege has now been added to the public test universe. So in this devlog we'll be mostly focusing on things related to Station Siege, what it is, how it works, and so on. We'll also be talking about the player council later on. So, Station Siege is a mechanic that can be used to attack and possibly capture someone else's station. Station capture gameplay brings a new type of purpose for PvP along with a more clear goals to work towards. In short, how Station Siege works is you need a military capital ship with a siege terminal and a shield breaker installed in it, you choose which station to attack, select one of the time slots the target station has allocated and confirm it. Then you'll just need to wait for the siege to start. When it starts, the attacking capital ship will warp to the target station's area and the station's safe zone will be disabled. The station and its surrounding area will become a war zone and every endo inside it will need to choose whether they're on the attacking side, the defending side or impartial. During the siege you can see in the top and the top right corner how the siege is progressing. The little squares represent the different capture zones that both the station and the capital ship are divided into. The arrow shows which zone you're currently in, and the red area around the square indicates a zone being under attack. Once the progress bar has been fully filled, a zone will be captured, and once enough zones have been captured, the ownership of the station will transfer and the attackers will become new defenders. If the attackers manage to defend the newly acquired station until the siege timer finishes, they will now own the station and the safe zone will return. It's good to note that even though siege has been added to the PTU, it's not a finished feature yet. There are plenty of things we wish to add to it, such as better visual effects to help you see which area of the station is under attack, the possibility to siege moon bases and possibly other capital ships as well, the possibility for unaffiliated capital ships to join a battle, among other additions. But first, we need all the data we can get from the PTU siege testing in order for it to be ready for launch on the live server. There are some additional details and limitations regarding the sieges as well, which you can read all about on the wiki linked in the description below. Some other things have also been added to the game recently, such as heat mechanics, reconstruction machines for stations, and you can find all the details in the patch notes. In other news, we have recently formed a player council for Starbase. The player council's purpose is to provide focused and structured feedback from the community to our development team. The members of the council share suggestions and concerns and provide feedback using the Starbase forums. There can also be discussion prompts made by us devs where we ask about a specific feature, such as how high risk the players would like the station sieges to be. This type of feedback that is more focused in one channel is very helpful for us, since we normally get lots of feedback that is scattered in multiple different channels of communication, and those can get quite difficult to track. However, this doesn't mean that we'll be only listening to the player council for feedback from now on, we'll still be keeping an eye on all the other places as well. Currently, the council consists of active and prominent players and members of the community that we've invited to join, and they all represent different playstyles and are from different companies in order to reduce the chance of any biases. What's more, the council isn't used for fine-tuning designs such as stats changes or balancing, so there is no need to worry about the people in the council having an unfair advantage of knowing about such changes in advance. The council discussions are only visible to the council members and us developers in order for the people in the council to be able to discuss the game in peace. However, a summary of important discussions will be gathered and published regularly for the rest of the community to read. We've recently released the first of these reports and it can be found on the forums. Since it's been a while since the last dev vlog, a lot of things have happened within the Starbase community. One of the most notable things was the first ever EOSCon that was held by the community for the community. At EOSCon, all the ship designers in the universe were able to show off their work for all of Endokind and possibly sell some ships or other things. Some of my personal favorites were definitely the gift shop by Renz, as well as Rain's dashboard decorations. If you missed this one, don't worry, the organizers have decided to make it a biannual event and the next one will be held in July. As for what else the community has been up to, you can check out the monthly community recap we post on the forums. The link to it can be found in the description. 
That's all for today. Remember to join our Discord server to stay up to date with all the other Starbase news. 